Any of you guys want rabies? Get those bats. Today we are in the small West Texas town of Colorado City, Texas. And about 30, 35 miles south of here is a couple of ghost towns I've been wanting to go to for well over a year. And these are interesting ghost towns. In fact, in some ways more interesting than the average. One is called Silver. The other is called Sanko. We'll get to Silver first. Silver is an interesting place uh, simply because it was a ranch town that I don't know, it had maybe a couple of hundred residents until right after World War II when they discovered oil, as is the story with so many of these little West Texas towns, and then it blossomed in population, became very, very popular as a place to live and a place to work, that sort of thing. And then, with the improvements of the roads and the coming of the uh, interstate highway system and that sort of thing, the... Uh, the town died, which is also typical of a lot of these little ghost towns. But there are some really, really cool structures left. There's some churches, some schools, some old uh, general stores and that sort of thing, and hopefully we can look through a lot of them. Yeah, we're gonna go to every building we can get to. There's no doubt about that. I just wanted to get us off the road so we're not arousing suspicion. Yep, there's a building there. There's a big school and a church back that way. There's some kind of a, it looks like it was a general store this way. Whatever that was, it had a wheelchair access. Uh-huh. Look at all the wildflowers, man. Yeah. Look at the prickly pears budding out with their fruit. The prickly pears with their fruit. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love Texas. Guys, you guys sound like finding some cactuses over there. Cactuses is not a word, but I'm saying it anyway. It's a good place to get pricked. Of course, you love that. Were you unable to get to it? We can get, get to it from this way. Oh, okay. Are you gonna suicide bomb it when we get there, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> place was in the business of giving you the business and business was good did you find a Masonic G over there I'll, me and Matt will be able to tell you real quick Uh, no, that is not a Masonic G. That would not be, if it was Masonic, it wouldn't be presented like that.
Oh yeah, man, old abandoned church. Ooh, bat, bat guano, man. Oh man. Go all the way down to the podium and then look up. Holy crap, man. Step up on the platform on stage and look up. I can smell bat guano. Oh, there's bat guano everywhere. Holy shit, look at the bat nests. Get out of our church, you son of a bitch. Any of you guys want rabies? Get those bats. Two colonies. Three colonies. Four colonies. Oh my god. Ooh, easy. Oh, dude, he's carrying a mouse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want you. <laughs> I don't know if I got that shot or not. Okay, that was awesome, but there's only so much bat guano smell I can take. Yeah. Uh huh. Holy mackerel. You're right, Bob. That was ghost town gold right there. Thanks, brother. I knew you'd like that one. Everybody ready? Now we got to go down here and find a place called the Sanko Loop. will take us to the ghost town of Sanko, obviously. Let's do this. Are they behind me? They are. This should be the turn. Yep, this is it. Sanko. Sanko, Texas. Holy mackerel, look at this place. Let's park in front of this old store. <laughs> Warning, there is nothing here worth dying for. <laughs> I, uh, I take it this must be private property. That doesn't seem very welcoming. This town is guarded by the Senko robot. No trespassing, no trespassing. Somebody had a lot of time on their hands, dude. Oh, I smell guano again. Yeah, it's not an infestation like Well, you boys watch out on that floor now. Oh, this place is awesome, man. But look, don't you know you notice that anytime we find a place like this in a ghost town, there's always bedding. Yeah. There's always bedding on the floor. That's a whole bed. That's got the the frame and everything. Yeah. Somebody has Somebody's been living in here. 1973 Wall Street Journal. That's the year my brother was born. Yeah, yeah. He's 43, and he's my little brother. We're getting old, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> nice.
Nothing would be sweeter than your tulips on my Peter in the morning. Are you singing that directly to me? No, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> This was totally awesome. Two ghost towns for the price of one. You can't beat that. We're going to head back to Colorado City, get ourselves something to eat, and then make the long interstate ride home. Thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Tim Kreitz Adventures. If you liked what you saw, please like, share, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff. And we'll see you next time. Bye! my motorcycle. But I can hear Tim just fine. Hey! Shut up!